Oh, this is Seamus in 7MYW. Back again for another antenna review. This time, the Comet SMA703. Uh, this particular antenna, I picked this up at Ham yeah, Radio Outlet, and it is specifically designed for 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and 1200 megahertz, or what they call the uh, 23 centimeter band, so 1.2 gigahertz tri band antenna. I've already taken it out and, and put this on my quad band radio. This is the ICOM T81, and it is a, a 6 meter, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and 1.2 gigahertz handheld. I don't make them like this much anymore, I'll say that. Um, there are very few radios that even have 1.2 gigahertz right now. In fact, I think the Olinko handheld is the only one that does. Um, but otherwise, I wanted an antenna for this particular radio because the antenna that comes with it is this. I might say it's a monstrosity. It's supposed to also be for six meters, but it it has definitely seen better days. I, I bought this radio used for about a hundred dollars, and it was worth that to get the uh, to get the 1.2 gigahertz. Although I've had little success in actually <laughs> using it and, and communicating in a in a QSO with anybody, but I can key up the repeater. So this antenna, the Comet, um, cost me, I believe this cost me $26.95, to double check on that. But that is its main, that is its main uh, focus, is those three particular frequencies. Now, it'll of course work on any of the other HDs that are dual band and works well. It's nice and thin. Uh, it does use an SMA. Get it a little bit closer there. Um, this is the uh, SMA that works on all, almost all of your radios today as opposed to the reverse SMA. Uh, it, it, it really, I, I like this antenna. It, it does a really good job on the higher frequencies. Uh, it does well on the 1.2 gigahertz band. If I use one watt out on this radio and I'm in the right spot, I can hit the repeater, which is about, I believe, 20 miles away, which is very, very surprising. Um, it, would be, it would be nice to hear more people on that repeater. I hope that they move that repeater in closer to the city. It's way out in the boonies and you can hardly hear it and you can hardly reach it with any of the gear but maybe they'll do that in the future but Comet's done a good job with this one. Um, granted how many how many HT antennas can you own? Well we're hams. We love them. We love HT antennas so we always seem to have a drawer full of them but um, I thought I would give this one a try for the ICOM just to see how well it would do and it, and it does a good job. Um, it's it's it is a better antenna for 1.2 gigahertz than the antenna that comes with it, and I am hoping that someday soon, one of the manufacturers will come out with something that will get us up onto the 900 and the 1.2 gigahertz frequency ranges, uh, a lot easier. Short of having to buy a very expensive radio, if we're if we're to populate and use these frequency brands, and and that includes 220, my favorite band of all. Uh, we need to get out there and use them, and we need gear to do it. So, if, if any of the uh, manufacturers uh, come out with something, I might, I might look towards uh, towards getting a different radio for this. But just saying, right now, from what I have used it uh, as, the Comet SMA703 does a really good job. It's uh, granted, it's a little bit more specialty, and I don't use this radio very often. I mainly use it for 1.2 gigahertz, but. Uh, when the VHF and UHF or microwave contest is around, then I've been able to use it on simplex and stand out on my balcony facing the south and, and been able to use it uh, on, on FM simplex. So, If you are considering it, you can get it at one of the regular outlets, uh, either Hammer Outlet or uh, DX Engineering, Gigaparts, all of them will usually stock this uh, particular antenna. So that is just uh, that is a little bit of what my, uh, my feelings are regarding this antenna. Uh, it's about seven and a half to eight inches tall from the base and you guys you can see it's really slender up here so I could see possibly if, uh, if you're not careful that this could break a little easier that's the only drawback but otherwise it works well and here's well uh, I am able to listen a little bit better to 900 megahertz as well so I've put that on my scanner and used it and it, and it seemed to do a pretty decent job so maybe as an all-around antenna it might work well those are my opinions of the uh, the Comet SMA703. Let me know what you think. Do you uh, do you use 1.2 gigahertz uh, in your area? 
do you have any gear that uh, that uses and, and is able to transmit on 1200 MHz? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon for future videos and uh, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know how well these are doing and getting out there. So that is a short, brief review of that common antenna. And I look forward to uh, possibly getting a couple more antenna reviews out there in the next month or two. Thank you so much for watching. This is Seamus in 7MYW saying 73.